instant rearm repair refuel code. What's up everybody, this is Gunter Serlo. Today I'm going to show you a couple of codes that you can set up in the editor for your missions that will instantly rearm, repair, and refuel any vehicles and even infantry. Let's go to the editor. We're going to go to Stratus. And then we're going to go to the Stratus Air Base. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a few assets and we're going to start with a player. I'm going to place down a rifleman and that's all we need to do with him for now. Then we're going to place a boat. This is going to be a speedboat and we're going to need to place it with crew just so we can switch to them. Place them here, face it this way and then we're going to make the crew playable, at least the commander and the driver. Then we're going to set the health and the armor of the boat to real low. And that's all we need to do with that. Next, we're going to go down to cars. And this is going to be without crew. I'm going to place down a Hunter HMG. And we're going to set its health and its armor low, its fuel ammunition, because it has a gun. Next, we're going to place a helicopter and this is going to be an AH-9 Pawnee because it has rockets and guns on it. Place him here. I'm going to set its health and its armor. Ammunition low. Next we're going to place down a plane. This is going to be the AH-164 Wipeout or an A-10. Edit his health, his fuel, and his ammunition. And lastly, we're going to place down a tank. This is going to be the M2A1 Slammer. And we're going to edit its health, its fuel, and its ammunition. Okay, next we're going to go to F3 Triggers. And we're going to place down a trigger without a size. And then we're going to edit the trigger. We're going to set it to Rectangle, make the height 10. And we're going to set the size to 7 and 7. We're going to set the activation to any player present, which would be the activation type. And then we're going to set it to repeatable. So before we go on to the activation and I give you a code, we're going to check the size of the trigger so we have it the size that we want. To change this, I could do it the other way or I could use the area widget tool. So with the area widget tool, let's see, I'm going to change the uh, squareness of it so that it lines up with the uh, helipad here. I'm going to set the size so that it encompasses the helipad which acts, it's going to be like a container. So let's edit the trigger. We're going to go down to activation on activation and I'm going to give you guys a code, a left curly bracket and then if space left left curve bracket and underscore x space is kind of space quotes this will be car space space again right bracket space again then space and then we're going to go to left curly bracket underscore x space set fuel space one semicolon space underscore X space set vehicle armor space one semicolon space again and then we're going to go underscore X space set vehicle ammo space one and then semicolon then we're going to put a right curly bracket and then a semicolon and a right curly bracket again and we're going to go space for each space this list and then semicolon. Now that's the code that will repair the vehicle and it'll work regardless so when you enter the trigger with your vehicle it'll repair, refuel, and rearm. You could see the changes in the vehicle if there's any significant damage or you know real low fuel that you could see but for the sake of feedback what we're going to do with this code is we're going to add a hint. So we're going to type hint and then quote and in the quote, for this hint, you can put whatever you want. You can make it specific to 
whatever the vehicle or thing that it is that's going to enter the trigger. So it doesn't matter what you say, but in this case, since it's a it's a car, then we're going to put this. So we're going to go your vehicle as being rearmed, paired, and refueled. And then we're going to put a exclamation point and then close it with a quote and then a semicolon at the end. So with a hint, all you have to do is put hint and then you have to put quotes. So whatever you're going to say, it's going to be within quotes and then you're going to end it with a semicolon. And that's basically the code. And just hit OK. And let's save that. I'm going to go down to Stratus and name this Instant Trigger. And then we're going to save that. Okay, now we're going to test this out and see how the trigger works. Alright, so we're going to take a look at our vehicle here. And as you can see at the top left, it's low on fuel. It's got significant damage. If we go to the gunner seat, it's down to 17 rounds, 13 rounds. So let's drive into the trigger. Alright, so we've been refueled, repaired, and if we go to the gunner seat, we have our ammo supply has been refueled. We also got the hint at the top right, which tells us that these things occurred. Because if the damage and the, the ammo and the fuel is very, really small, then you might not really notice the difference in the change. So that's why I put a hint. It gives you feedback. Okay, let's go to the back to the editor. Now that we have a code, we basically have a working template. I'm going to click on the trigger and we're going to press Control and then C. And what that'll do, it'll just copy the trigger. And now we're going to set up the trigger for the helicopter. I'm going to place the trigger here. We're going to edit the trigger. Now, a helicopter is not a car. So what you're going to do in the code is you're going to change this to air. You could change the hint your helicopter helicopter has been rearmed repaired and refueled now to make sure that we fly within this area we're going to go to empty and then we're going to go to cone and we're going to place a couple road cones just so that we have an idea of where this trigger is at surrounding area of it all right so let's test that out so the helicopter is pretty beat up. Uh, it doesn't really have much for ammo left. And you can see it's got low fuel, needs repair. So what now we're going to do now that we have that set up is we're going to highlight this whole thing and use this as a template and press control C and we're going to basically just place this here and for the plane this is this is the same trigger I could literally just turn the plane into that trigger but we're just going to just put this in front of the uh, the plane and uh, we don't need to change anything because air is still air the plane is considered uh, air so let's test it out we'll save this all right so the plane is pretty beat up looks like it needs fuel needs repair it's got little for ammunition and let's go forward go all right so the plane's been instantly rearmed re refueled and repaired let's go back to the editor all right we're going to copy this trigger with the cones press control c and now we're going to go to the tank 
and we're going to place this right here. And with the tank, it's different. So we're going to have to edit the trigger. And for the tank, what you're going to place, what you're going to put there instead of air is tank. Pretty simple. Now we're going to go to the hint and we're going to put your tank as being rearmed, repaired, and refueled. And let's test it out. We'll save that and test it out. All right, as you, as you can see, it needs fuel, needs repairing. And if we go to the gun, it's got one round left. and it's got ammo. All right, let's go back to the editor. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this trigger, press control C, and we're gonna go over by the ship, the boat. And we're gonna put this in the water and we're gonna actually resize this because we want a bigger area for the boat. Not that big's good. And then we're gonna go to empty or props and we're gonna type in buoy. So we have a buoy. Press control C. Buoy is just a marker just to give us an idea where this trigger is at. We know where it's at. It's pretty much in front of us. You can't miss it, but just for ambience, I suppose you could say. We're gonna edit the trigger. You're gonna put right here in this code instead of tank you're gonna put ship hint we're gonna put your boat as being rearmed repaired and refueled hit okay and let's test it out and as you can see at the top left it needs fuel needs repairing and if we go to the commander seat it also needs it also needs some ammunition so we're going to go to the driver's seat. And here we are. So we have fuel, we've been repaired, and in the commander's seat we have ammunition. Let's go back to the editor. Now you have multiple different triggers and I'm going to show you one one trigger. Uh, we're just going to edit this trigger right here. In the quotes here, we're going to type all capital A vehicles. Now with that code, with that name, any vehicle, be it the tank, the helicopter, the car, the plane, even the boat that would go through this trigger will all be rearmed, repaired, and refueled. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to set up a trigger for the player, for infantry. We're going to highlight this trigger. Press Control C, and then we're gonna go over here, place it over this helipad, line it up a little bit, and then we're gonna edit the trigger. All the size and everything can remain the same. That same activation, activation type, repeatable, all can remain the same. Now this code, we're gonna redo this because there is some extra code and some alterations of this code, so it's better just to start fresh. So what we're going to start with is we're going to go left curly bracket and then if space left curved bracket and then underscore x space is kind of space quotes c a man base and then quote and then right curved bracket space then space left curly bracket underscore x space set damage space zero semicolon space underscore x space set unit loadout the unit part and the loadout part is going to be capitalized capital letters just as you see it and then we're going to go space again and then we're going to go left curvy bracket type of space underscore x 
right curvy bracket, semicolon, space again, underscore, x, space, set, vehicle, ammo, space, one, semicolon, and then we're going to go right curly bracket, semicolon, right curly bracket, space, four, each, space, in this list semicolon again to end it and now we're going to add our hint so we're going to get hit space again so we'll just type in hint quote you have been rearmed and healed and then we're going to put exclamation point and then end quote and then semicolon and that's it so be sure to make your lines here uh, capitalized so ca and man b is capitalized the U and the L is capitalized, and then we have the vehicle ammo, only the ammo one is capitalized, and, and then, then you have the rest. All right, let's hit OK, and then we're gonna go to the player itself, edit the player, and we're gonna set his health low, we're gonna set his ammunition real low, and press OK. We're gonna save that, and we're gonna test it out. You can see on my top right, I got 10 rounds to our ammo. We go to our inventory, we got no ammo, and of course it shows that we need uh, to heal. So we're gonna stumble over to our trigger here, and here we are. You have been rearmed and, and healed. So if we go to our inventory, we've got chem light, uh, more ammo. Go to here, we got grenades, chem light, uh, pistol rounds more ammo, smoke grenades. Now you can set a lot of different things to set it up instantly. So these are good for, you know, team deathmatch missions or deathmatch missions or whatever type of missions that you want to use. I have a mission where I use the uh, air trigger for both helicopters and planes in, in a mission that I use. Now outside of that, I want to uh, show you guys a list where you can kind of get an idea of where some of the, the base names are. So this is kind of what we're looking at. Let's go to that list right now. BI forms, there is a list. We go to the very top. It says list of vehicle base classes. And if we scroll down, grumpy old man here has generated 136 parent classes for vanilla Arma 3. So as you see, we have all vehicles, land, land vehicle, motorcycle, tank, man, airship and it goes on so these are specific to certain things they're basically for the is kind of condition and there's a lot of a lot of stuff and there's other information here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to link this in the description of the video and whatever you guys want to do in your missions for this code you could use one of these i want to thank you guys for watching and uh, i hope you learned something and find this useful i will catch you guys on the next video bye